The Coach Curl podcast is brought to you by Think and Grow Business, the home of the Think and Grow Business Mastermind. If you're serious about growing your business, get serious and join a mastermind group today. Find out more at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and welcome to episode 136 of the Coach Curl podcast. Today, we feed the beast. What does that mean for you? Hey there, it's Tony here and welcome to episode 136 of the Coach Curl podcast. A little bit somber Coach Curl at the moment. It's been a bit of a, um, it's been a pretty awful week here in Australia. We've just come into the first week of September. We've got spring. Um, It should be an absolutely joyous time of the year with uh, refresh and new growth and but ultimately, what we've seen along the East Coast is some really high winds. And the start of spring has seen these high winds coupled with some, I suppose there's no other word to call it, but fire bugs that have set um, Australia alight. And, and by, by last, this morning I was reading the news, and something like 127 fires are are currently burning in the states of New South Wales and Queensland on the east coast of Australia um, and fuelled and fanned by the high winds. So it's really not great. Uh, The lives of many have been affected, you know, property, animals, um, everything is under threat. And after years of drought, A, the conditions are absolutely dry as, and... The precious water that these communities and and uh, country and regional locations that have is now being used to fight fires. So um, there's some real serious fears about what happens next. So I'm really hopeful that the weather um, has some respite. I mean, today has been a less windy day here in Brisbane, so I'd hope that that would be replicated right along the east coast. And I'm thinking that now would be a really good time for the drought to break. So our thoughts are obviously with everyone that is affected. And there's one thing about Australians is that we have this never beaten Aussie spirit. And that once this emergency eases, that that spirit fuels the recovery. So... Um, as I said, all our thoughts go out to anyone that's been affected or knows of people that are affected within uh, this uh, this emergency. And unfortunately, there are segments of our population that um, like to light fires. And, you know, I'm not sure why people get a kick out of that, but, um, but I, I suppose the same question gets asked. Why do people get a kick out of any sort of um, ugliness that they ugly behaviour or, or you know criminal behaviour? So, all my best, and I hope that uh, where where you are, this podcast finds you well. So, today's episode is all about the beast that we feed because that's what we all do. We feed the beast. So what, is, what do I mean by that? We feed the beast. So the beast is different for every single one of us. But the beast that we feed is the one that controls us. Now the question often gets asked, this question often gets asked by my coaching clients in a very indirect roundabout way. People rarely admit to feeding the wrong beast. The beast that derails them, the beast that keeps them stuck, the beast that haunts you with regret and remorse, the negative beast, the demon of your own demolition, People rarely admit that that's the beast that they feed. But unfortunately for many people, that's the beast that they feed. 
But there is another beast, the beast that can drive you forward, the beast that fuels you to become the very best you, the beast that is symbolized in marketing campaigns as beast mode, you know, and there's a huge difference between the beast. There is a huge difference. Remember, there's the beast that we feed that will derail you, keep you stuck, and haunt you with regret and remorse. The demon of our own demolition. And I'm often reminded too much, too too often, too little. And I want you to really think about those words. Too much, too often, too little. I don't want to be glib about this at all because this is a really serious issue. But seriously, it's how we allow ourselves to think. It's seriously how we allow ourselves to think. So stop allowing yourself to think the worst. It's time to set boundaries on your own thoughts and create a very narrow, a very narrow and specific channel just for you and your thoughts that channel you through to becoming the very best version of you. Stop allowing yourself to think the worst. We choose, we choose the beast we feed and you fuel that beast with your thoughts. So I want you to think about how do you fuel the beast that will drive you to succeed? How do you fuel that beast? A, it's in our thoughts, but it's also in the diligence of our daily actions, the delivery of our daily actions. And that is how success is born. That is how success is delivered, through your diligence of daily actions and behaviors by stealing yourself to take the best option and not the soft option. It is not the place for the weak-minded. It is the place for the best to rise up. The choice to make to pass the instant gratif- satisfaction, gratification, the choice that we make to pass that up and go for the long term, the choice to make to pass the instant and go for the long term, the chance to have long-term satisfaction and significance over the potential of short-term gratification. Feed the beast that takes you places that you never imagined you would go and not the beast that sits you in the depths of despair. Feed the beast that challenges you to take the plunge and not the one that has you sitting on this shore. Feed the beast that gets you in the game and not sitting on the sideline. Feed the beast that enables you to grow and not the one that keeps you fixed. It's a choice that we make. You know, we talk about beast mode, this beast mode that rolls up our sleeves and gets us so pumped that we're bulletproof. And that's where we want to be. Feed that beast. Feed that beast with desire and drive. Feed that beast with esteem and confidence. Feed that beast with belief and faith. And when we get up tomorrow and we make the choice to feed the beast that keeps us down, know this, that is a choice that we have made. Just as winners in this world will wake up tomorrow and they'll make that choice to feed the beast that rocks. It's your choice. What beast are you going to feed? Hey, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Coach Curl Podcast. I hope you found some value in episode 136. And if you did, please share. If you found this podcast valuable, please share it with your friends, your family, or anyone that needs to hear some words like this today. Leave a review if you can. We always appreciate it. And the more reviews that we get, the more likely we are that we can be found by other people in need of uh, this particular message, this particular podcast. Your support is always appreciated. And just so you know, during the month of September, in our Facebook group, in the Facebook group for the Coach Curl Academy, I'm doing a live daily, a Facebook live daily, and it's helping people and supporting people get some structure uh, around their goals and their priorities in in life to enable them to actually attain some better results. So 
It's free. Just go to Facebook and type in the Coach Curl Academy and we'd love to see you there. It's already got heaps of free value over there. It's got value. It's huge. And um, so what have you got to lose? Pop on over if you're, if you're not connected on Facebook. Please connect and let's jump into the Academy. As always, thanks to my team at Think and Grow Business. Um, if it wasn't for them, this podcast wouldn't exist. Um, we've got over 70 programs to strengthen you uh, your mindset and your leadership and business over at the Coach Curl Academy, uh, thecoachcurlacademy.com or simply go to Google and do a search for the Coach Curl Academy. Don't forget, I have written a book. It's called Seriously Simple Stuff to Get You Unstuck. It's available on Amazon and where all good books are sold, of course. And if you want a signed author's copy, just head on over to tonycurl.com.au. It's our, it's our page for our um, our signed copies. Um, don't forget 20% of our each book sold supports Carter's cause raising funds and awareness for kids and the families of kids that have been born with congenital heart disease uh, one of our sponsors is Totally Builder All it is an integrated digital marketing platform uh, you can find it at totallybuilderall.com and it's got landing pages it's got animated video makers it's got a crm it's got a mailing list uh, it's got an endless choice for you so head on over to totallybuilderall.com and sign up for the free seven day trial don't forget where you are now you are standing you are stronger you are braver and wiser and don't ever forget don't ever forget the golden rule yes you know what it is just don't be an arsehole i'll see you next week 